loves and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a massive TJ Maxx haul. So I was just in the US for almost two months um, helping out a family member and I couldn't not take you to one of my favorite stores. I always share my buying advice with you in my videos for my handbags and getting the deal started for me at TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx, we have nothing like it in Dubai. So if you're one of my like Dubai based followers or you don't have a TJ Maxx, this is gonna be a real treat just to show you. I'm gonna go through prices, what I found. I got different items across all categories. So first we're gonna get into some clips of me going there. So if you don't have a TJ Maxx in your town, you can kind of know what the store is like. They have all different categories, you know, men's, women's, kids, home goods, beauty section, handbags, luggage, all sorts of different things at a discounted price. If you are UK based, you might be familiar with TK Maxx, which is like the sister company of TJ Maxx. Of course, when I'm in London, I always go to TK Maxx as well. So maybe next time I'm there, I can take you along if you enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a like and drop a comment below if you do enjoy this and wanna see more like shopping with me. This was a no budget. I just went in there for the thrill of the deal and did a ton of shopping. By the way, if you're new here, hi, my name is Morgan. I make videos about luxury handbags fashion and lifestyle so if that's your thing please subscribe and turn on notifications I upload once a week and I would love to have you here let's get into shopping with me and my haul at TJ Maxx of course we had to start in the luggage section we found one of my favorite brands Calpat for $89.99 I also like to pick up Samsonite suitcases here they always have great deals and then we're moving over to this little corner where they had a ton of travel accessories like packing cubes, scales to weigh your bags. They have just really good essentials that typically maybe you would order on Amazon, but they have very good prices for these types of travel essentials, even locks for your bags. Now we're getting to my favorite section of the store where they have beauty products. I found this cute little pillow eye mask that looked very tempting. I had to pick one up. And then they always have these little towel twisters. These are the best brand for them, for microfiber towels. And I always have to check out the masks. I look for Dr. Jart every time I go to TJ Maxx. It's one of my favorite mask brands. They also had some dry shampoo. I didn't need stock, but I wanted to show you it's a good price. And definitely check out the clearance sections when you find them. You can find some gyms here. Just so you can see the sheer size and amount of products from the beauty aisles. It's just amazing. I found some more Dr. Jart masks, so I picked a couple of those up. Lufa's amazing finds here. I saw these little shower steamers, which I was eager to try, but I didn't like the scent so much, so I left them. They always have great nail care as well. Files, brushes, like anything you can think of for your nails. And little face shavers or like tiny little blades. They always have a great selection of those too. It's something I always pick up when I'm in TJ Maxx. Here is the makeup aisle. There's just a hodgepodge of a bunch of different makeup items. I found my favorite chapstick in the cotton candy flavor and my favorite brushes from Real Techniques. I thought these colors were just so fun. I couldn't pass them up, but they also had some more neutral ones. They had the beauty sponges as well, which I like more than the beauty blenders. They're such great sponges. This is a product I actually discovered in TJ Maxx when I was in Miami last time. It's a brush cleaner. I'll tell you more about it later. When I was there, it was around Valentine's Day. They were already quite picked over, but here's a display of the cute little decorations they have. They have great stuff for your kitchen and just decorative items for the home, and they do this for almost every holiday, so you can find the cutest decor. They also started putting out Easter. Like How cute are these little gnome decorations? Dish towels are also something I have to look for in TJ Maxx. They have great holiday ones, but also really nice, just plain, basic, high quality ones at a good price. So you can find linen ones, cotton ones, like different types of dish towels. I found these cute little Peter Rabbit napkins for Easter. And then into the home section for some bakeware. I also always check out the gourmet food section in TJ Maxx. You can find some banging snacks there. Honestly, these gummy bears are the best you will ever taste. TJ Maxx has the best gift bags and cards and tissue paper, so I always stock up on all of these things when I'm home. They're really great prices and beautiful designs. It's good to just keep on hand when you have an event. They always have like big packs of tissue paper. 
Makeup organization is another thing you can get for very good prices there. I would have taken home these beautiful bookends, but they weighed a ton. So I left them there, sadly. Since I have three dogs, I can never skip the dog section. They have great prices for dog toys and always their favorite little hedgehogs. This is the main clothing section. It was quite disappointing. I did see this cute jacket, but the color wasn't. There was a Fendi bag in the display case, so that was the only designer item I found. I always double check the checkout lane. They always have random stuff there. I found a great display of these flavor syrups. They're great for coffees and iced teas you make in the house. That was a bust in terms of fashion. Um, there was absolutely nothing. I think I'm gonna to try to go to one more TJ Maxx before I put this video together because I really wanna find some like fashion things. So stay tuned. So we made it to our second TJ Maxx, which is much bigger. You can see here, even just in the face mask, there's so much more toys. I picked up some foot masks, body lotion, and another sleep mask. Who remembers these from when we were kids? Like if you were a 90s kid, you definitely had one of these, right? In this TJ Maxx, they did have the runway section, which is the designer section. This Longchamp bag was for $99.99. I did find a pair of Chloe shoes, though definitely not my style, but in my size for just about $300. These Gucci ones were not my size. I found Rag & Bone jeans, which is my favorite brand. Again, not my size though, so I left them. This gorgeous basic ALC dress was on clearance for $58 and I saw this amazing cashmere sweater that felt so good but I'm trying not to buy things with like writing on the front. I did pick up this beautiful pink silk blouse which you'll see later in the haul. It's from Rebecca Taylor and I did see these diamond Gucci earrings for $2,240 and a lot more Gucci jewelry. This TJ Maxx had a much better selection of Easter items. Now this was like a week or so later than I visited the first TJ Maxx, so it was closer to Easter, so maybe that's why the selection was better. I have two massive bags here and some things that also didn't fit in the bag. My nose is a very niche comment, but if you live out of your home country and you know there's always that store or those things you can't get in the new country you live in, and TJ Maxx is one of those I could fill like 20 suitcases with every time I come back. There's always the new and like innovative products at a great discount. Always check an extra bag or two coming back to Dubai because I do a lot of my shopping in the US. You just get different products you can't get here, maybe in colorways you can't get here or there's certain brands I prefer for certain products that you just don't get over here. For me, that's like one of the stores that I have to go to when I'm home. I always get my luggage there too. You get great deals on luggage. So let's get into some of the things that I stock up on when I'm in the US from TJ Maxx. I always get just like a ton of gift bags. There, I got like sets of them, different sizes, because I don't know what it is, but like finding cute gift bags here in Dubai, they're so expensive. And these are so cheap. Set of three gift bags was $7, so divided by three, that's a pretty good price for them. Same for the lemon set, but I actually had to give a gift while I was home, so um, one of those bags is already gone. But again, that was six nine. Oh, this one was actually cheaper. $5.99 for a set of three. This was $2.99, so this confetti one was $2.99, the black one was $1.99. Easy to pack in that front section of your suitcase, so I always tend to get gift bags and tissue papers and like different cards for different occasions. That brings me to the pack of tissue paper. I did use some of this while I was home, so it's not completely full, but you have the polka dots and like the gold. I thought this was just a good neutral tissue paper that would go in like every gift bag, and this pack was $3.99. We bought tissue paper in Dubai. I don't know what it is, but you'll pay like 40 dirhams, 50 dirhams for like a pack like this. And this is 50 sheets. They also do a rainbow pack, which I still have stock from my last US trip. And that is like about the same price as this, but you get 100 sheets. Another thing I love to pick up are dog toys. My dogs, for some reason, love hedgehog toys. And while I was there, it was Valentine's Day. So they have these Valentine's Day collection hedgehogs. And it was three for $6.99. Again, dog toys. Don't know why they're so expensive here, but they're super expensive. You probably pay this price for one of these here in Dubai. I also picked up, this was a bit of a splurge. I usually don't spend this much on like one dog toy for the dogs because you can always find them super cheap at TJ Maxx. But this one says Puppuccino and I just thought it was so cute because my partner has 
a coffee addiction. We did get our dogs their first puppuccino recently, which I'll insert a little video here. It's super cute. And this was $4.99. So not super pricey, but also not like super cheap. Another thing I like to pick up from TJ Maxx are like microfiber cleaning cloths. These are for $4.99. This is a 10 pack. I intend to keep this set up in my dressing room for wiping down my handbags and you know if I have to use any leather cleaners using these cloths because I wanted a set that was just for my like handbags and shoes. You know, I'm a little crazy about taking care of my bags and shoes. I wanted to have my own set rather than using any of the towels that might be having different cleaning products used with them. I also love to pick up dish towels. These have cute little Valentine's gnomes, but they also came with gray ones that I can use year round. And these were for $9.99. There's two small like washcloth sizes and then three of like the dish towel size. So this is a really nice set. And it's a good way that I can dress up my kitchen for a holiday, not have a full box of Valentine's decor. And I was in the US so long that I got to see the Valentine stuff and the Easter stuff. I always love Peter Rabbit looking things for Easter. And I think these were just so stunning. They were $6.99 for a set of two. Usually when I travel, I take off all the tags and the packaging. So it's easier to pack in my suitcase, but because I wanted to do this haul when I got back to Dubai, I kept everything with the packaging. The home item I picked up are these little containers for sauces. I want to be that girl and I'm working on it, but I have a little station up here upstairs. It's like for tea and coffee and I want to keep snacks. I wanted something to keep like almond butter, crackers, or different snacks like up here because I tend to work from home upstairs. And these were $4.99. Also, it did pick up these little Peter Rabbit napkins for Easter. These were for $4.99. You can't find different designs even cheaper at TJ Maxx, but I love Peter Rabbit for Easter, like I said, with the towel. This goes to my Easter party theme. For the kitchen, I I picked up these pink pans. This is from Faberware. I really like this brand for kitchenware and of course the pink I thought was very me. I needed new pans. The pan that I have now is for a smaller oven because in our last flat we had a smaller oven and now we have a regular size oven that can fit a full pan. Finally, I'm very happy to have a full size pan now and two of them and I just thought the pink was super cute. They were $6.99 each. It says comparable at $9, so not like a huge savings, but for the pink, I thought it was really, really cute. I also picked up these tongs for some reason. <laughs> I was not able to find these types that have like this kind of mechanism at the top here in Dubai. I was looking everywhere. These are very similar to the tongs that my mom has at her house and I really love them. So I picked these up. These were $7.99 for a set of two and I think that's pretty good. And whenever we move and do up our kitchen next, I want to change a lot of my cooking utensils to this like Tiffany blue color because maybe one day I will get that Tiffany blue KitchenAid mixer. That's like my dream in life to have that in my kitchen. So. I'm slowly getting like little pieces to like change that over. Um, just starting with like the utensils that I'm lacking in my kitchen collection. Also picked up a can opener because the one that I have is horrible. It's from like a long time ago and it really just like doesn't work very well. I picked up actually a KitchenAid brand one. So hopefully this is the same color my mixer will be. This was $9.99, it said compare at $15. We have a casualty from the packing. This is also why I usually take them out of the packaging. I'm gonna try to see if I can fix this one. It's just one measuring cup. This is a set for $6.99 KitchenAid measuring cups and like the measuring spoons. My last home item that I have is this little set of drawer organizers. I finally decided that my makeup counter needed proper like plastic storage. And of course I had to pick up the best gummy bears in the world, honestly. These are so delicious, they're gluten free. I keep like a jar in my living room filled with these gummy bears. I'm obsessed with them, they're so delicious and they have so many different flavors. You have to try these. This one is for $2.99, this one is for $4.99. They are a little more premium than like super cheap gummy bears, but they're definitely worth it. I also pick up my tea flavorings here. So I like to make iced tea in the house. I try to find these different like sweet flavors that have zero sugar for my tea. This one is glazed donut. This was for $3.99 and I think on Amazon you usually spend between like eight and $12 for a bottle this size. I also picked up this cinnamon gum. I haven't chewed gum in like forever, but I'm a sucker for cinnamon and I saw it, so I thought I would try it. It was only $3.99. I usually love to check out the tech section at TJ Maxx. They're great for like screen protectors, cords, chargers, at really good prices. I did see this gorgeous unicorn extra long cord and this is for $12.99. It's the beauty bag that is 
really overflowing from this haul. I sleep with an eye mask every night, so I picked up a new one with this really pretty cherry blossom print on it with the Tiffany blue background. And this was for $3.99. These wear out if you wear it every night. So I always like to have an extra one on hand. Say like every so many months, I need to replace my eye mask. I would prefer to get something at TJ Maxx than like an expensive one. Did also though pick up another one that I think would be really nice for the airplane. And this is the pillow eye mask. This one was for $12.99. So it was a little more expensive. Also always pick up Dr. Jart masks. I love Dr. Jart masks. I've gone away from using as many like sheet masks as I used to, but whenever I see these little rubber masks, they're so much fun for like a girl's night as well. These are for $6.99. They're usually around like $10 or $12 in Sephora. I had to try this one out. I really like hyaluronic acid masks and this one was for $8.99. Always pick up a set of these face shavers. I shave my entire face about every three weeks and that just helps my makeup go on smoother. It helps with exfoliation. And you're only really supposed to use these once because you don't want this to get too dull and like scrape your skin for $4.99. Also picked up mini face shavers. So these would be great for travel for $3.99 and they come with a little case as well so they're easy to pack. I also picked up a foot mask. This one's for $6.99 but you get three pairs so I guess that's three treatments worth. You have one set of the peeling pair so that gets like all the dead skin off your feet and it has two moisturizing pairs. You can always use this especially with sandal season coming out. Try as I might, I cannot stop buying makeup brushes. I've really tried not to buy a whole lot of makeup brushes but I do have a few face brushes that have seen better days. So I saw they had these Real Techniques and one was $2.99 and one was $3.99. And I love Real Techniques. They're great brushes anyways and they're a great price point as well. So even when they're not on sale at TJ Maxx, I tend to buy those because I don't really think you need, you know, $40 makeup brushes. I also picked up their Beauty Sponges, which is my favorite beauty sponge. I actually like it better than the Beauty Blender. There were four in here, but I need to use one while I was home. And this pack was for $11.99. I believe at like Walmart, it's kind of the same price if I remember right. I also picked up some chapstick mainly because of this one in the middle, the cotton candy flavor, because those on Amazon, you will pay like five to $10 for one because it's like a discontinued flavor and it's my favorite flavor or scent or whatever you wanna call it. This also has peaches and cream and green jelly bean. We never really have enough chapstick and this was for $2.99. I also picked up this amazing little gadget. You need this if you travel. This is a brush cleaner. Now, of course you should clean your brushes like properly, but if you're traveling and you only want to bring a few brushes with you, you also want to have like different eyeshadows. This is something you can kind of swirl your brush around in and it'll take off the pigment so you can dip your brush into another color. It's really great to be able to switch between different colors easily. And the one that I have is almost like worn out. So it was time to get a new one. And this was for $4.99. I also got a few nail care essentials. I usually keep pretty long nails, so I like to have these brushes around. This was $3.99, and this was $3.99 for the big stone. I also picked up these little acne patches. Just get some breakouts like around that time of the month, so I like to have some of these on hand just to help those go away. We'll see how this brand works. It's a new one for me. These were $5.99. Another thing I always get is a set of loofahs, fluffy sponges, whatever you wanna call these. These are for $4.99, probably not the most like eco-friendly thing, but even if I have like guests come over then I have extra ones that I can give them when they're here. I tried to be a washcloth girl, I really did, but it just doesn't work for me. I always pick up a set of these at TJ Maxx because they're quite affordable and they always have like sets. It's easy to store them when you have this pouch. I also picked up this Real Technique a facial toning bar. It helps you like depuff. I tend to use my Nurse Jamie roller every day. It's quite big for my makeup bag when I'm traveling, so I thought this was a really great alternative to keep in my like travel makeup pouch. It was $3.99. I have been seeing these all over Instagram and TikTok, these like whipped body products, different shaving creams and body butters. So this is a body butter that is supposed to smell like birthday cake. Let me open it up and see, because I didn't obviously unseal it in the TJ Maxx. Oh my God. This smells like a cake. This was for $8.99 compared at $15. I've been curious about like how long these whipped products will last. That's why I've never really jumped on the train. So I was happy to get this as a discount so I could try out this whole whipped 
product trend and see if it really actually lasts and it's like worth the money. I also picked up a set of my favorite hair towels. They're microfiber hair like twisty towels. So when you get out of the shower and you use your towel to squeeze out like the main excess, I put my hair up in this and it helps it not be frizzy. I have tried random brands of this, but these as seen on TV, Turby twist ones are by far the best ones. The other ones I always end up getting rid of. Every time I go, I pick up a couple. They really help me not have to put as much heat on my hair, which is very important because I have bleached hair. And these were just $6.99. Now we're into the fashion category. I really didn't find much. Some TJ Maxx, like TK Maxx, especially in London is great. TJ Maxx in New York is great. My hometown is in Alabama. You don't get as many of the runway or like designer pieces as some of these bigger TJ Maxx. So fashion was few and far between. I only picked up two shirts and something very interesting. This is one of my favorite brands for wardrobe essentials, but this is a product I've never seen before. This is a skip the line adhesive thong. This is on a double clearance and it was like $3. I figured I could just keep it in the kit if I have a dress that, you know, I'm having issues finding an undergarment for. Why not give this a go? This was more for fun than anything else. This brand makes the best fashion tape and I always keep that in my like wardrobe essential kit. This shirt from Rebecca Taylor. It was for $79.99 compare at $119.98. I love like a silky blouse and I've been looking for a pink one. So this was a really nice find. These cuffs that stretch on the end and beautiful cover buttons on the front. Just something simple that can be really like a wardrobe essential. And the next shirt I already wore, but the price was $59.99. I found a leopard print equipment blouse. I did get a size large. I always size up in equipment because I find they're quite a slim cut. And it's just their like typical silk blouse. With the pocket on the front, I really like the quality of their blouses. A great way to add leopard to my wardrobe in not an overwhelming way. One of the few brown based kind of prints for items I would actually use in my wardrobe because I find that leopard pairs really well with bright colors. <sighs> we are done. I hope you guys didn't get bored. I hope you enjoyed all of those different finds. I know it was quite random. If you did enjoy this, I'll try to do more of these. If there are other stores you wanna see me shop from, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok to see how I style my looks and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.